Now I wanted to remind you of some little tricks you can use with multiplication tables if you don't remember the answers. Though the best thing is that you remember the answers, okay? First we're looking at the table of 5. I have 5 times 6 and then 9 times 5, 7 times 5. You can think of the corresponding problem in the table of 10 and take half of that. So 5 times 6. You can think of 10 times 6, which is 60, and then take half of that, okay? That is 30. 9 times 5, what would you think? What would be the helping problem? It would be 9 times and 10. Okay, that's 90. And half of that? 45, right? 7 times 5, what would be the helping problem? You would think of 7 times 10. 70, take half of that. 35. For table of 6, the helping idea is to look at the table of 3 and double that, okay? So 6 times 7, we just studied that, okay? If you don't remember it, you can think of 3 times 7, hopefully you remember that, it's 21. And then double that, double 21, 42. Okay, 8 times 6, instead of 6, put the 3. 8 times 3? 24, so this is double that, 48. Or 6 times 12, instead of 6, use 3 here. Maybe you remember 3 times 12, 36, and double 36. So we get 72. And the same works for the table of 4. You can think of table, t table of 2 and take double those answers. 4 times 9. Okay, think of 2 times 9. That's easy, that's 18. And so 4 times 9 is double that, or 36. 4 times 8, you can think of 2 times 8. That's 16, and double that, 32. 7 times 4, instead of 4, use 2. 7 times 2 is 14, double that. 28. All right, I hope these little tricks will help you also. And now we're gonna look at the multiplication table here. It's part of the complete multiplication table. I didn't have space to write it from 0 all the way down to 12, so I just wrote part of it. And these squares here that are shaded out are the multiplication facts we haven't yet studied but we have studied most of it. And here would go the skip counting pattern by sixes, right? Two times six goes here, three times six and so on. So let's fill in that first. You try to fill it in in your mind before I write it, right? Okay, so you get to practice too. Two times six, 12, and then three times six, 18. And the skip counting pattern by sixes goes here. So I get 24 plus six is 30 plus 6, 36, and then 42, 48, 54, 60, 66, 72. Okay. Now, sevens. We haven't studied yet the skip counting pattern by sevens, but we can go down this way because here I have the table of two. So I have 2 times 6, 12. 2 times 7, 14. This way it goes by 2s, okay? 12, 14, then 16, and then 18, right? Easy. And here it goes by 3s, the skip counting pattern by 3s. 18, then 7 times 3 goes here, 21. And then 8 times 3, 24. And then 9 times 3, 27. Here we go by fours, 24 and four more. So we get 28. And then 32 and four more, 36. Here we go by fives, well that's easy. 35, 40 and 45. Then we go by sixes again, 36, 42, 48 and 54. 
Ah, uh, and all I have to do if I in here is by tens. So that's the easiest of all. Okay, well done with this lesson.